Hello all, welcome to Thought Provoker channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about Svalbard Global Seed Vault established in Norway. It is a secured agriculture seed storage facility built to preserve wide variety of plant seeds against the challenge of natural and man-made disasters. This seed vault represents the world's largest collection of crop diversity. As of now, this vault stored around 1 lakh samples of 4000 different seed species around the world, which represents over 13,000 years of agriculture history. It is located on the remote island of Spitsbergen, Norway. In the past, there is a history of destroying some national seed banks due to natural disasters, wars and civil strikes. For example, the National Seed Bank of Philippines was damaged by flooding and later destroyed by the fire. Similarly, the seed banks of Afghanistan, Iraq have been lost completely due to the wars. Hence the idea of building a worldwide seed vault was started by conservationist Carrie Fowler to ensure the safeguard of seeds in other national seed banks. In this regard, Carrie Fowler, in association with consultative group on international agriculture research started the construction of this wall in the year 2006 and completed it in a two years of time. The complex was built over 120 meters inside a sandstone mountain on the island. The storage rooms are designed to store the seeds at minus 18 degrees temperature and with limited access to oxygen. This low temperature and limited access to oxygen will ensure delay in seed aging and low metabolic activity. This is how the seeds are preserved for hundreds of years for food security. Moreover, there is a specialty in the construction of this vault. It is estimated that the facility will be maintained at 0 degree centigrade for the two centuries even if the refrigeration system fails. The Norwegian government entirely funded the construction and it was costed around 8.8 .8 million US dollars. Some of the organizations like the Crop Trust, Bill Gates Foundation and organizations from various governments helping in sustaining operation of this bank. That's all about the global seed wall. I will come up with another interesting topic next week. Till then, bye bye.